Hello and welcome to this video demonstration. My name is Amanda. I'm from the University of North Texas COI Information Research and Analysis Lab. Today I'll be walking through an R solution for commonality coefficients provided by Nyman, Lewis, Kane, and Haynes in their 2008 Behavior Research Methods paper. You can find this article linked on our webpage, or you can also find it through Google Scholar. So jumping right in, we'll need to open up R, and I'm just going to double click to do that. And to get started, we'll download the Y hat package, which will allow us to conduct these analyses. So to install packages, you click on packages once R is open, go down to install packages. And then you'll select a download location, so choose whatever is closest to you. So for me, it's going to be USA, Texas, um, and click OK. And then it gives you a list of available packages, um, and we're going to find Y hat, and these are in alphabetical order, so scroll all the way down and find Y hat, and click on it and then click OK and it will download and install. So the next thing that we need to do is activate this package. So to do that we're going to type library and then the name of the library which is Y hat in this instance and hit enter. And this loads a web page with more information about the package which we don't need right now but is a good read if you want more information about the package and what it can do for you. Okay, so um, in this demonstration, I'm going to use the same data set that was used in the Nyman, Lewis, Kane, and Haynes paper. So it is based on the Holzinger and Swineford data, um, and that is part of the MBEST package, which is within the Y hat package. So we just need to call this data out. To do that, we're going to type data hs.data and then hit enter. And then we're going to attach the data so that we and go ahead and use it. As long as you don't get any errors, you know you're good to go. Um, and returning back to the Nyman, Lewis, Kane, and Haynes paper, I believe it's table three where you can find those, um, the data, and then the attach commands. Next, we'll use the syntax from table four to conduct a regression analysis with general sentence word C and word M predicting paragraph, uh, the paragraph variable. So just to make this easy, I'm going to highlight this first command, right click to copy, and then go back to R, right click and paste. Um, you can do control C to copy, control V to paste, and then enter. And it should work just fine. Now to see the regression results, we'll type summary, and then reg R and hit enter. And here we can see our regression results um, of these four variables predicting the paragraph variable. We have our estimates, standard errors, t's, p's, uh, multiple r squares, all of that good stuff. Now that we have that, we can move on to table 5 from the Nyman, Lewis, Kane, and Haynes paper. This contains the code to conduct the commonality analysis. So I'm going to just do the same thing and copy all of this code. Right click, copy, control C will do it as well. And then go back to R, right click, paste, and hit enter. And you can see that it actually breaks up the code into two lines so it won't work. So for this we'll actually type in the code. So I'm just going to copy this so that it's all in one line being sure not to make any typos because that will cause the code to not function. And remember that capitalization is important. Okay, so no errors, so we're good to go. Now if we want to actually see our commonality results, which of course we do, we're going to type in print and then in parentheses CC data and hit enter and this pulls up our commonality results. So here we can see um, our coefficients unique to general sentence word C word M 
and then we also have the corresponding percentages here, and then we have our common variance explained for all of our different combinations, and then we have our total, and of course the total coefficient, the 0.611, is the same as the multiple r squared. And then coming down here we have the same commonality results just presented in a slightly different format. So here we can see um, the unique variance explained by general, the common explained by general, unique for sentence, common for sentence, and then their total variance explained. Well that about does it for this video demonstration. Again my name is Amanda. I'm from the University of North Texas COI Information Research and Analysis Lab. Um, you can visit us at our webpage. The address is www.coi.unt.edu slash IRA lab. On our webpage you can find out more about us. You can see our hours, schedule an appointment to come talk to me about your research. Um, we have a couple of these demonstration videos on here under how to as well as a whole host of both qualitative and quantitative research resources. So feel free to take advantage of that and thanks again.